Hi, I'm Mrs. Sue Kent, and I'm a second grade teacher at High Point. I wanted to encourage you during this holiday season to try some healthy recipes, try some healthy cooking. I know I did when my kids were young, and I had some, um, some fun adventures in the kitchen I wanted to share with you. You can learn from my fails, from my mistakes. So one thing that I made with my kids was a pudding, right? Trying to cut out the sugar. So papaya is great. It's um, a fruit that really doesn't have a lot of flavor. And so you can add things to it to give it that flavor. So I made chocolate pudding using papaya and banana and chocolate and honey, right? And so to make it, you have to put it all in a blender. I have my blender here. I use the blender a lot. And so you would put the papaya in there. And the papaya, papaya is quite big once you um, cut it up. And I put the cover on it, but it really wasn't going because you know how sometimes in a blender it has to get started before it's really cooking, before it's really grinding up. So, you know, I had my handy wooden spoon here. And I know that there are blades in there, right? And you're not supposed to stick things in there while it's going. But I was just going to do it a little bit, right? I wasn't going to do it very much. So I um, started with my wooden spoon pushing that papaya down so it would get into the blades. And pretty soon I hear chunk. Oh no. So I stop it. Sure enough, there was a big chunk out of my wooden spoon. And of course, my kids were like, oh, Mom, it's not a wood chipper, you know, teasing me. And I don't know why they wouldn't eat pudding with splinters in it, right? But, um, so anyways, don't put a wooden spoon in the blender. There are blades and it'll get it every time. All right, so another story I have with my blender, my handy blender here. I wanted to make some homemade tomato soup. I loved tomato soup as a kid and I had a garden. We grew tomatoes and so I was gonna make my own tomato soup um, with fresh herbs and everything. So you cook the tomatoes on the stove with all the seasoning and then you puree it using your blender, right? So I took the soup and I ladled it into my blender. I put the lid on the blender and I hit the power button so it started to go. Do you know how powerful steam is? Did you know that steam can power a locomotive? It really can. It can also break glass. Well, I didn't know this, but this little handy top on the lid of your blender, well, it comes out, right? The reason it comes out, can get mine out, is so the steam has a way to escape. Well, I didn't know that. And so my um, blender, as I was blending those tomatoes and all of that steam was trapped inside of here and it broke this glass blender. And so pretty soon, oh, Rock was flying around. Pretty soon, I had this broken blender. The glass broke, and it was a heavy, nice, heavy glass blender. And it, um, I had tomato soup all over the place. And so then my kids, of course, had to tease me. Oh, mom's in the kitchen again. She's breaking things, right? But I say, if I'm in the kitchen and I'm breaking things, at least I'm in the kitchen, right? We weren't going out to eat, eating McDonald's, eating fast food. I was trying to do those healthy things. And so I really encourage you to do that as well. One other quick story I have. Um, I made some banana bread. Always, you know, checking out the latest recipe, those sugar substitutes that you can use. I use stevia. Some of you um, try healthy cooking, you may have heard of stevia, low glycemic. It doesn't affect your blood sugar. It's better for you. So I made my banana bread with stevia, maybe a little bit of honey. And the neighbor boy came over and he said, Nick, do you want to try some of my banana bread? He goes, sure, I like banana bread. And I said, well, it's a little different than most banana bread you probably had before. He's like, okay. So I cut him a piece and he eats it. And um, he's like, mm, yeah, my mom makes banana bread and it's kind of different. I said, yeah, I didn't use any sugar. He's like, mm, you might want to try sugar. My mom uses sugar. So I thought that was really funny. Um, it is an acquired taste to try to eat healthy, change those habits, but I really encourage you, um, get in the kitchen with your kids 
and play around, find those recipes. And even if you break things in the kitchen, that means you're in the kitchen and you're working and you're having a good time and you're having memories. My kids, whenever they see a wooden spoon, they talk about mom and the wood chipper. So I don't think they'll ever forget that pudding that I made with splinters in them. So good family memories, have fun and happy holidays.